On the phone, we have President Barack Obama. Jimmy D, this is the big O. Hey, how you doing, Mr. President? What's happening, buddy? Everything's mellow. Enjoying my vacation. You sound very relaxed. You know, I saw your press conference last week. I just want to ask you a few questions. Can I ask you a few questions? Uh, go ahead, Jimmy. You know there's no secrets between us. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, do you still insist that Ed Edward Snowden isn't a patriot even after that speech if you Snowden gave? If Snowden believes what he did was right, he should come home. Uh, appear before a court with a lawyer and be found guilty. <laughs> <laughs> well, you wouldn't be talking about any of these NSA reforms if it wasn't for Edward Snowden. That's the... Uh, well, Jimmy, before Snowden opened his trap, we were going to reform the surveillance systems that we denied exist. <laughs> you don't have to worry about anything you don't know about because your main man Obama's got it covered. That, that, does, that doesn't make any sense, Mr. President, and it also doesn't make any sense to put the same guy in charge of investigating the NSA. Why not? What, what do you mean? That, that's, uh, putting the guy in charge of investigating the NSA who's already a part of the NSA is like putting O.J. Simpson in charge of finding the, the real killers. You know what I mean? Or, or putting Monsanto in charge of the FDA or having a Citigroup executive, the Secretary Larry of the Summers Treasury. Being chairman of the Federal Reserve? I, I think I'm getting the hang of it. Yeah, Larry Summers being the chairman of... Yes, that's right. But you, you got it. It's the press conference. It's, you said Larry Summers was a terrific person in the press conference, Mr. Larry Clinton. is a terrific person. A great patriot. Good golfer. Huh. He's the architect of the economic collapse. That, that's who he Nappy is. Nappy dresser. Uh, nice to orphans with puppies. Oh, oh, Mr. President. Always sends thank you notes. Huh. Come on, Barack. And, uh, and more civilians killed in Yemen. When are you going to stop with the drone strikes? How about that? Let's start there. You going to stop with the drone strikes? Drop my drones? Never. <laughs> I'm winning in my fantasy fatwa league. <laughs> in your what? What is it called? No, I get them during recruiting trials. And, and what about the environment, Mr. President? You still haven't been clear about your position on the Keystone Pipeline. Well, we're still looking into the environmental and economic concerns about the pipeline, most particularly the permanent jobs that will, you know, it will create. What, what permanent jobs? The only permanent jobs it's going to create is the permanent cleanup crews for all the oil spills. You know that's going to happen, right? There's just no pleasing you, Jimmy. What do you think? What about, the, what about the police officers who are going to be patrolling uh, the pipeline? The Keystone Cops! Come on, man! That's going to be hilarious. <laughs> really? The Keystone Cops. Okay. Listen, uh, I... Jimmy, I assure you the U.S. government has no interest in listening to the American people. <laughs> yeah, obviously. In fact, I'm barely listening to this conversation. <laughs> well, why the hell did you call me then? You called me. This is what I do for the entire American left. I let you blow off some steam, bust my balls a little, and then I just continue to do whatever I was going to do. Yeah, no kidding. You mean like the war on drugs? You know, I was surprised that Eric Holder said he's going to lay off prosecuting drug offenses. Why the change, Barack? Suddenly the change in the... Jimmy, with obstructionist Republicans, disappointed progressives, spineless Democrats, and delusional teabaggers being a pain in my ass, I'm seriously considering getting myself a medical marijuana car. <laughs> okay, I see. I see what you're saying. All right, well, listen, Mr. All right, I'm, I'm getting back to my vacation, working on my golf swing. Okay. When good. I get back to the White House, I got lots of compromises to catch up on. <laughs> okay, talk to you later, Mr. President. Thanks for taking time to call Protest me. Protest out. Okay. <laughs>